Snipe, Snipe, Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for your head top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. I am excited to do another How to Cop video because helping y'all out, man, helping y'all get y'all grills and helping y'all get y'all sneakers, you know what I'm saying? It, it warms my heart, you know what I'm saying? It warms my heart. We are back with another How to Cop, and today's video will be on how to cop the Adidas Yeezy 350 Lundmark. Now, recently I did a video asking, is the 350 V2 Lundmark worth it? If you guys do want to check that out, if you haven't seen it, I will link that down below in the description. But basically, it's just talking about the originality of, of the Yeezy, how it's kind of changing up a little bit. I did speak briefly on how it kind of gives you the same feel, the same vibe from other Yeezys that ha has already dropped in, in, in the past, to be honest. But at the end of the day, it does have its differences, and it is a, I mean, yeah, okay, cool. We, we, we can call it a different shoe. Regardless of the fact, if you came to this video, you want to know what's the best way to copy. you like, look, Snipe, I'm tired of all the talking. You know what I'm saying? That's on dog. Yo, how can I win my pair of sneakers? And that is why I'm here, man. Shouts out to everybody who come through in the DMs on Instagram or Twitter and tell me all the time that these videos help you guys pick up your pairs. And that's the reason why I continue to do it. And that's the reason I won't stop. You know? So the Yeezy 350 V2 is coming out two separate times, two separate days, because it's two separate shoes. Now, the information I'm going to give a lot of you guys, um, I mean, some of you guys might know, okay? So this is not for all of my advanced guys who already got like seven accounts and got 13 bots waiting at the crib. This is for my people who just new in the game, you know what I'm saying, rolling in. Or for my people who never have a first pair of Yeezys, it's still some people out there who has not got their first pair of Yeezys. In my opinion, if you do not have a first pair of Yeezys or you don't have any at all, and you're thinking about going ahead and copping a pair, this might not be a bad pair just because like the Earth-like vibes, the earth tone vibes, it's definitely a sneaker you can rock with a lot of different fits. So the two days these are dropping, the first day is July 11th, and that will be a Yeezy supply release only. The reason why that, is because that is the 3M reflective pair. Now, if you've been under a rock lately, then you would probably haven't noticed that Yeezy has been doing this thing where he has two separate sneakers. Yes, it's the same shoe, but the two sneakers have different details. For example, the black static joints that drop or the white static joints that drop, usually it's the same way. You have a pair like this one that's not reflective, so the whole entire upper is not reflective, but the lace system is reflective. Those are a lot less expensive when it comes to resale value. They are the same amount of retail, but when it comes to the reflective pair, which is the same exact sneaker, and except just the lace system being 3M, the whole entire sneaker is 3M. Those are usually Yeezy supply releases only, and that is why those are released in July 11th instead of July 13th, where the general release pairs are going to drop. Now listen, I ain't going to hold you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it a bug, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I got to tell y'all. If you actually want to get one of these reflective pairs, well, you might have to, you know what I'm saying? You might have to, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Get up off Get up off it's gonna be tough, all right? It's gonna be thousands of people waiting. And when I say waiting, I mean like, bro, they, they, they own it. I mean, I mean like own it. That's kind of like the game right now, man. So many resellers, so many people that can make a dollar out of sneakers, you know, I don't knock it, but I mean, I'm just putting my people on, you know what I'm saying? I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest. I took an oath, man, I took an oath. So if you're one of those people who really don't care if they shoot lights up or not, then just go for the non-reflective pair. I mean, to be honest, man, because it's gonna be a lot easier to get, and it's not gonna be so much of a hassle, because I guarantee you, Yeezy Supplies of lately, they've just been dropping random times. I'm talking about 3 a.m., 4 a.m. It's like, it's getting out of hand. I ain't gonna lie. The maintenance or the upkeep it takes to actually be able to dedicate when that shoe is gonna drop, either you gotta be super plugged, oh, I hope I ain't, you know, I don't wanna offend nobody, but shit, like, bro, you can't really have no life. Like, like you can't really have no job, you know what I'm saying? At least not a real job. Because there's no way possible you up like 24 hours waiting for a shoe to drop on a website if you got a job. Let's resell ninja job. No, you know what? Let, let, let's talk about something else. So resale for that sneaker right now is going for about $1,500 in my size. I told y'all it's a huge significant difference from the non-reflective and the reflective pair. Now the non-reflective pair, that is like the more general release version. There will be a man's size, a toddler size, a grade school size, an infant size. They got it all. Usually when it comes down to sneakers and they have a full size run like that from the mom, the dad, the grandpa, and the infant, like usually it's a lot of pairs. But, but, but I don't I don't want everybody thinking that's gonna be super easy because your boy Snipe, I'm not saying that. It's guaranteed to be a lot easier than the reflective pair, but we still don't know how many in quantity it's gonna be. What I can say is, like I said earlier, man, whenever there's a large group of pairs dropping like this, it's a lot easier to get. Now, the best way you want to go about getting these sneakers, as I always say, if you don't know about the apps, then you lost, my boy. You lost. The apps are consisted of a few different stores. You got Finish Line, you got Champ Sports, Hibbit Sports, you have Foot Locker, and Foot Action. All of these stores have apps, so if you have a smartphone, you can either go to your Google Store or you can go to your App Store on your iPhone, and you will download each and every last one of those stores' apps, and it's easy to work. All you do is create an account. Once you create an account, you go 
to the launch locator. As soon as you go to the launch locator, they ask you for your location. You would then put in your zip code. It will bring up every store that has that sneaker in your area. Basically, you get to choose three stores, okay? You get to choose three whole stores. Now, if your neighborhood or if your area don't have three stores, then you're gonna get to choose. But if you have more than three stores or three stores, you choose three stores. After you pick those three stores, it is easy as just picking your shoe size. And after that, that's pretty much it. Now, if you're new, you're gonna start off with a six minute head start time. For my people who don't know what a head start time is, let me break it down for you. A head start time is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's the amount of time you get ahead of the release date. Now these sneakers usually are chosen whenever you do the app, whenever you do the app raffles. They're usually chosen on Friday around like six o'clock, okay? That's when it's usually chosen. Reason being is because the release is more than likely gonna be on a Saturday, so people know ahead of time if they got the sneaker or not. So now you don't have to worry about a huge line when you go to the mall. You don't have to worry about 40 people fighting over a pair of sneakers because the winners are already alerted and they know who gonna be there and who not. So six minutes is what you get if you're a regular customer. If you spend over an amount of money for each and every individual store you can get a nine minute head start time which is the max every store has different like thresholds some stores is like 200 some stores is 300 I'm not sure you will have to look on that yourself but once you cross that threshold man you will easily become a VIP member or like a platinum member and that basically means you get the max head start time which is nine minutes or however many minutes you got you can always go and get that additional one minute head start time the best way to do that is either go into one of the stores you selected make sure you go to one of the stores you selected go to the front desk at anybody at the cashier and just ask them for that one minute you can also go on Twitter on a spot called check-in codes where, you, where they basically give you like the one minute head start time and they do a great job at talking about how to go through that the whole process over there on their page and that's pretty much it for the apps man the apps is super super easy man I'm pretty sure everybody here knows about the apps but I mean I gotta run it down for the people who don't know because it is still some new people out there Next up, I want to go to the raffles real quick because there are some raffles that you guys definitely should get into. SNL raffles are very, very popular. That is how a lot of people actually hit on their sneakers. The only thing I want to tell you guys is, man, like you just enter the raffle and you don't know you hit until like they tell you they hit so the money is gone. So just make sure that's what you want to do before you go that route because, it, it, you know, you, you got a chance. But just make sure your funds is right. Next up, of course, we got like the other stores that does not do like the, the apps but still going to carry the sneakers. For example, you got DTLRs, you got Jimmy Jazz, you got Shoe Palace. I'm not sure if Shoe Palace have those it's not a shoe palace in Atlanta so I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure sneakers like that that did not have an app they're probably in store raffles where you go write your name you know rip off the ticket hand it to my man's in the back and then you just you know wait for that call yo yo what's good but the only thing I hate about that I say this every hot of cop because I gotta let y'all know listen bro I ain't gonna hold you man people be getting finesse you heard? Like, like people really be getting finesse when they come down to those handwritten raffles so I mean, you can go for it. I'm not saying you're not going to win, but it's just so easy to just pull that name out and then pick their cousins real quick if y'all got the same size. Hey, your cousin, you know what I'm saying? Come up here and get your pair. I mean, really, really it's that easy. I, I didn't see it a few times. I ain't going to lie. Another way, of course, is Adidas.com, FootLocker.com, ChampSports.com, all these websites on long side of the apps, right? So you got the apps. That's one way. But the same stores that have the apps, they have websites that's all going to be dropping that Saturday. Now, the tough thing about that is by city. It's the same thing kind of with Yeezy Supply. You might have to pull up your pants. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You might have to which good to be completely honest it's tough okay uh some people hit a lot of times it takes a long time to go through so if you're one of them people who's impatient and you just ain't got what it takes man you you gonna have to be patient even like adidas.com like to get in there like the area to even like try to buy a sneaker is always tough ain't gonna lie, man it was one time for what sneaker was that i think it was <sighs> man i can't really remember i ain't gonna lie but I think it was the Super Moon Yellows, uh, for example. I was like in the waiting room for a grip. I was in there for a while, bro. I don't know, like, no cap. And uh, I just stayed in there, bro. I kept refreshing. I kept refreshing. I kept waiting, and I honestly got through like an hour later or something like that. It's no different from like sneakers app. Whenever they going crazy, like with the glitch they did with the Travis Scotts, how you gotta just keep going. It's the same way with the websites because it's so many people and it's so many bots. It's crazy, man. It's like. Strongest man gonna win out that one for real. Now, like I said, man, a resale for the reflective pair is going for about 1500 in a size 12. Okay, I can give y'all this whole size listing, but it'd be easy to just tell y'all my size. It'll give you kind of a ballpark figure. Now, size 12 is not the money size, so you gotta think. The lower the size, usually the more money because it's a more common size and it's a lot of other people that fit that size. For the non reflective pair right now, they don't, my size for like 400 to 450. Of course, that has a lot to do with the shoes being like unreleased. I'm pretty sure once that shoe is released, the price might go down a little bit. Who knows? It depends on 
on how you know how easy they are to get and how available they are that always has to do with the price of resale if you want to hear my thoughts and opinions on the shoe man once again you can go ahead and check out that video down below in the description on are the Yeezy landmarks worth buying or not but that's pretty much it for the video I hope it's very informative shout out to everybody coming through watching another video man I appreciate it as always man your boy snipe Jones I'm trying to guarantee y'all a pair you know what I'm saying that's, that's on me let me know if you found this video helpful leave a like and also comment down below let me know are you going for these are you going to pass me personally I will be in California I will be at SneakerCon Bay Area when these drop so man it might be a little tough for me we all know once SneakerCon is in the city just about every huge reseller and every huge sneakerhead is in the same place so I'm going up against like the Avengers for like one pair of shoes who knows man maybe I hit maybe I don't we will see we will see but until next time man it is your boy Sniper Jones thank you so much for watching and you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but who really put in that work though Snipe Squad I love y'all dream big